So here's another example where we're going to find the equation of hyperbola when we are given its graph. And again, we're given the foci and the vertices. So we're going to do a similar process, but this one's just a little bit harder because the center isn't at the origin this time. So the first thing I would do is figure out what equation we're going to be finding. So, well, we see that um, the parabola is opening up and down. So that means that the y squared is going to be first. So it's going to be y minus k squared over the a squared minus x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. And the reason we know that the y comes first is, like we said, it's opening up and down. If it was opening left and right, then the x would come first. Okay, so we figured that out. And next I would just write, well, let's write out our vertices. We've got one at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, so five, negative 3, 5, and we've got another one at negative 3, 1, and then may as well write out our foci. We've got one at negative 3, and then all the way up to 7, and then we have um, negative 3 and negative 1. Okay. So now what well, we need to find our center. Center we know is h and k. And we're not given that point just by looking at the graphs. We've got to find that somehow. Well, what we do know is that we know the center is going to be equidistant from here, from this uh, vertice and this vertice. So we just need to find the point in between. And it goes negative 3, 5, and then negative 3, 1. So it's going to be in between 1 and 5, which as we know is 3. So it's going to be negative 3, 3. That's our center. All right, so now we're, we're getting pretty far and along. Now we can start really looking at the what we need. We need an A. Well, we know A is always the distance from the center, which is negative 3, 3, to each vertice. That's an A. And then this one would also be A. If we're going from negative 3, 3 to negative 3, 5, we just went up 2 units. So A equals 2. And now we need to find B, which, as you know, is like the hardest part to find, because we have to use this formula C squared equals A squared plus B squared. And C is the distance from center to foci, to each foci. And we just figured out, well, a squared was the distance from the center to each vertice. So let's figure out c. So c is going to equal, well, it's going to be the distance from the center all the way to this foci, or the distance from the center all the way to this foci. It'll give you the same thing. So we can, we're going from negative 3, 3 all the way up to negative 3, 7. That went up 4. So c is 4, a is 2. Well, now we can actually solve for our b squared. So let's plug in what we have. We've got um, c squared, which is 4 squared, is 16, equals a squared, which is 2 squared, is 4, plus b squared. We get b squared, b squared equals um, 12, b equals the square root of 12. We don't really need to simplify that. We could, but we don't need to for this. So now we figured out everything we need. We have our we have h, k, we have a and b, so let's just plug in. So we've got y minus the k value, which is the 3. Be careful not to write the x value. Um, then a squared, a is 2, so a squared is 4, minus x minus negative 3, so be careful with that. Minus negative 3 is the same thing as plus 3 squared over b squared, which is square root of 12 squared, which is just going to be less 12 equals 1. And that's the equation of this hyperbola. Thanks for watching. I hope this was able to help.